हेलो वंस अगेन गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन वी हैव स्टडीड स्टडे टू आई मीन प्रीवियस क्लास हाउ टू ड्रॉ द पोलर प्लॉट ऑफ पोलर प्लॉट ऑफ टाइप जीरो सिस्टम एज वेल एज टाइप वन सिस्टम सो टिल नाउ वी हैव ओनली स्टडीड हाउ टू ड्रॉ द पोलर प्लॉट ओके सो देर फर्दर वॉट वी हैव लेफ्ट टिल नाउ दैट इज Uh, if you are drawing the polar plot uh, that there is a only two point we are finding out that the starting point and the end point in between that there is a only approximation that the path how it goes and where it crosses so now this slide we can find out at which point it intersects the axis like real axis or imaginary axis and uh, what is the exact values where it intersects the axis now uh, from uh, example i'll show you that here it is nothing but uh, if we have taken uh, the example 40 divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 when it is a type 1 system you just keep it into your mind that if it is type 1 system and if we have two time constant that means 1 and 2 the s plus 1 and s plus 2 then it is always crosses the imaginary i mean minus 1 to degree axis always it will cross if it is you will have this kind of uh, transfer functions so you just be sure that it will always cross minus 20 degree axis next so uh, the first uh, type 0 system type 0 system if you will have like g of s divided by 1 plus uh, 1 plus 2s otherwise s plus 2 or s plus 3 something like that so you you will always find that the graph will be started from somewhere at 0 degree axis always i mean it will always start with the 0 degree axis and it will cross the imaginary axis if we have the two time constants like 2s and 3s that is my point if we'll have uh, if you are having only one time constant it will not cross the imaginary axis that means minus 90 degree axis so that means if you have you have this kind of transfer functions you have to keep it in your mind that it will always cross minus 90 degree axis and start with the zero axis with some ampl amplitude and this will be decided by this part 1 divided by and if we'll put here zero and zero so we'll get the transfer function now uh, next uh, we'll discuss it that how will determine that where this in, i mean graph or border plot intersects this point and this point so let's discuss with uh, this graph itself so now see that this is the minus 180 degree axis or 80 degree 180 degree axis and uh, this this is the equation of our i mean plot this is the i mean uh, sketch of our plot so we have if this plot if this plot intersect at i mean somewhere this 180 degree it means that it it will satisfy the equation of angle that means phase minus 180 degree with the phase of this plot i'll show you with here as we know that the angle of g of g omega is minus 90 degree we have already determined from equation number 3 minus 90 degree minus 1 tan inverse omega and minus tan so tan inverse omega by 2 if it crosses the minus 180 degree so will will equate that means it will satisfy this equation minus 180 degree we'll put that means that angle we'll put is equal to minus 180 degree so uh, see here uh, this uh, we'll find out the equation is minus 90 degree minus tan inverse omega minus tan inverse omega by 2 is equal to minus 180 degree so what we'll do uh, we'll uh, take this minus 180 degree this side and um, that means uh, right hand side and we'll have the equation minus tan inverse omega minus tan inverse omega by 2 is equal to minus 180 degree plus 90 and it will have minus 90 degree so we see here both side we have negative side minus 90 minus sorry minus tan inverse omega minus tan inverse omega by 2 and minus 90 degree so why not uh, we are taking the minus as a common so if we are taking minus as a common we will have only tan inverse omega plus tan inverse omega by 2 is equal to 90 degree so next step is because we need to find out the value of omega at which it crosses the minus 180 degree axis so what we'll do uh, we'll solve this trigonometric equation by taking tan both side if you taking tan both side what will happen 
it will become tan of tan inverse omega plus tan inverse omega by 2 is equal to tan antidegree. As we know that this this will becomes the equation of tan a plus b. This is the nothing but a. This is nothing but b. So we know that the tan a plus b will be, uh, is equal to tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a into tan b. Okay. So we will substitute this value here. So what will happen? Tan of a is nothing but tan inverse omega so it will become only omega tan and tan inverse will be cancelled out plus tan of tan inverse omega by 2 and it will have will find out only omega by 2 tan and tan inverse will be cancelled and 1 minus similarly tan a into tan b so tan a again tan inverse omega into tan inverse omega by 2 so we'll have omega into omega by 2 is equal to the value of tan anti degree is equal to infinity so we'll find the uh, we'll have the equation omega plus omega by 2 1 minus omega into omega by 2 is equal to infinity which is nothing but equal to 1 by 0 now uh, just uh, go for cross multiplication here so omega plus omega by 2 will multiply with 0 it becomes 0 and this one 1 minus omega into omega by 2 that means omega square by 2 so we have will find out the equation which will be equal to 1 minus omega square by 2 is equal to 0 so from this equation um, we can find out the value of omega so omega square by 2 is equal to 1 and omega square will be equal to 2 we'll, we have found out here the omega the value of omega is equal to under root 2 so so you look at here graph we now found out that at omega is equal to under root 2 the value of omega at uh, under root 2 it will process the minus 1 to degree axis but still we have to find out at uh, what is the point? I mean, what is the magnitude of this point where it crosses the mass degree? So what we will do? We have the, we have the value of omega. So we'll put this value of omega is under root two in equation number two, where we have the magnitude value. So at g of g omega, we have the magnitude value here, 40 divided by uh, omega into one plus omega square. 1 4 plus omega so this is equation number 2 so we put at the place of omega under root 2 what we will get 40 divided by under root 2 1 plus uh, omega square that means under root 2 square plus 4 plus under root 2 square and we have the value 40 divided by under root 2 plus 1 plus under root 2 square is equal to 2 so 1 plus 2 4 plus 2 and the total value will be 40 divided by under root 2 into under root 3 into under root 6 that means 2 into 3 6 into under root 6 it will be equal to 6 so 40 divided by 6 what will have the value uh, I mean the magnitude of g of g omega at omega is equal to under root 2 will be equal to 6.67 so we have found that at 6.67 this magnitude I mean this polar plot will crosses this axis minus 1 to degree axis so now if you have to find out that the I mean at point uh, in which point it will process this axis like imaginary axis so what will put you'll put that angle equation equal to minus 90 degree if you need to find out that at which point it will process the minus 270 degree then you what you have to do you have to put here um, angle is equal to minus 270 this is the convenient way to but I will suggest to if you will find out I mean this is the most convenient in the type 1 system where you have such kind of equation okay so uh, this is the <coughs> polar plot of type 1 system and when it is crosses the axis minus 180 degree at which point it crosses the mass no, 180 degree that means at omega is equal to under root 2 it crosses the minus 180 degree and at the magnitude of 6.76 that means here the 6.76 value it crosses the minus 1 degree so now it is clear that it uh, the, this graph this polar plot is start from infinity at minus 90 degree and end at 0 magnitude minus minus 270 degree okay here omega is equal to infinity represents the end point minus equal to 0 represents the starting points and here the table everything indicates that how to at which axis it will start and at which axis it will end at what magnitude it will start and what magnitude it will be and that's it i hope so you understand uh, the concept uh, so next topics will be discussed in uh, further lecture thanks
for watching this.